YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 news video. All right, folks, double dose today of news videos. I will have a video up later on on the This Week of Bungie, but I want to go over a number of important things that you need to know. First off, Bungie released tonight, or I should say today, this afternoon, some really important lore regarding the Crow. And uh, he's actually coming to the city, guys. What his role will be? Well, we're going to read into it. I'm going to paraphrase a lot of things in this big lore entry. Also, we're going to talk about how the battlegrounds, the war table, and this new item called the Hammer of Proving, how it's all going to work. We're going to have different tiers of enemies we're going to fight and so forth. So let's get into it without further ado. If you enjoy this video, a like rating does help out the video, comments help out even more, subscriptions help out even more, and if you really want to become an MVP, join the Mesa Army Discord and become a channel member. We've got an awesome Destiny 2 Mesa Army community, and also we've got a Mesa Army clan that the channel members set up and run. Links will be in the description. All right, folks, let's get into it. Now, last night, I did cover a number of hidden things and secrets from the trailer and also a number of screenshots that we got regarding Season of the Chosen, okay? Make sure you watch that video after this one, okay? Um, so, in a nutshell, we know what's happening in Season of the Chosen. We know that Callus' daughter, well, she wanted to strike a deal with Zavala, and, well, he wasn't having it. So, we're going to go to war with them. Now, we haven't seen exactly what the new Battlegrounds is going to look like. We just seen screenshots and you see gameplay in the background when I show you the trailer, but I'm getting kind of a horde mode slash, I don't know, kind of mini strike type thing or kind of vibe from it. So maybe it'll move from area to area and these are match made. Remember that guys, okay? It's not like the Seraph Towers, okay, where you go in and pray that people are there. But in a nutshell, well, the pyramids, they're still in the solar system and they're still going to play a role somewhat uh, this entire year leading up to the Witch Queen. So per Bungie, in Season of the Chosen, as the pyramids and Zyvu a wrath, probably pronouncing that wrong, continue to destabilize the system, a new force emerges. Empress Cadel, as that's what I'm calling her, probably a wrong name again, leader of the Cabal and daughter of the deposed Emperor Callus. Now, um, deposed does not mean dead, it just means uh, forcefully removed from office. So, Callus is out there somewhere. Anyway, well, she seeks an alliance with humanity, but when she demands more than Zavala can offer, negotiations collapse, and Guardians must become the tip of the spear that strikes at her growing war council. This item here is called the Hammer Approving, and with this new system, I am definitely getting a Menagerie 2.0 vibe from this system, which we're going to go over, which is, it's a good thing because the menagerie was amazing, it was fun, and also getting that loot, targeted loot, I thought it was great. So it's kind of like, I guess, a lure, where you're gonna set it all up before you go into battle. So here's how the battlegrounds, the war table also, that's gonna be a new area over at the tower, and also how the hammer approving, how it's all gonna work together. So to prove their strength in the eyes of the Cabal Empress, players will need to challenge Kato's warriors in the new battlegrounds activities across the system. So, so far we know we're gonna be on the Cosmodrome and also Nessus, right? Did I see anywhere else in the trailers, other destinations? I don't know, I probably missed it, but let me know in the comment section. Anyway, uh, using the hammer approving to forge and socket challenger medallions out of pillaged cabal gold for the right to take on Cato's fiercest commanders in the ritual combat. So it looks like we're going to be using this thing to, well, we're going to forge and socket challenger medallions in it, and then we're going to be able to summon different bosses, it looks like. So we're going to have to visit the war table at the helm, which is over in the tower, to upgrade your hammer of proving. So this is something that we'll be upgrading over time, and we could challenge different enemies. But we're going to be upgrading it through three tiers of pursuits that will unlock hammer upgrades, new proving runes, gear drops, and more. So here's a look at what we'll be putting into the hammer of proving. We've got the proving rune, we've got challenge medallion, uh, Red Legion Chest, Tribute Chest, Hammer Charge, Cabal Gold, Mission Focus. What all of these do? I have no idea. Speculate in the comment section. But either way, I am definitely getting Menagerie Light or Menagerie 2.0 vibes here, which is a good thing. And to give us some clarification on what exactly the helm stands for, it's the hub for emergency logistics and maneuvers, or the helm. It's the new base for all current Vanguard operations within the system. 
from the helm, players can interact with the War Table seasonal vendor. So there's going to be a new seasonal vendor here, and it's going to lead into my talks about the Crow here. Access to the Prismatic Recaster, decode Umbral Engrams at the Umbral Decoder, manage their vault, and retrieve items from the Postmaster. So whole new area to get all of your things done in, well, two shakes of a lamb's tail. The max power cap for this season is going to be 1310, and that includes Pinnacle Gear. Was talking about this with channel member main admin time splitter 01 so bungie puts a little thing out here about max power level in season of the chosen legendary gear from season of the worthy will reach their max power level legendary gear that has reached their max power level can no longer be infused to a higher power level exotic weapons and armor do not have a max power level now also they put in a little plug here that gear from season of the chosen they're going to reach their max power level in season 16 so just keep that in mind it's going to be a long time well a full year until we reach season 16 from now. So let's talk about the artist formerly known as Aldrin and now called the Crow. So one exile to another. Now this is some dialogue between Osiris and I wanted to say Aldrin uh, and the Crow. Okay. So the Crow, he's making his way back to the city. Okay. And well, his little glint is telling him we should celebrate. So he's got a little bit of booze and he's getting loaded. So I'm going to paraphrase a few things here, but we're going to go through it. So he's on his way back to the city. Okay. But one of the things that he's a little worried about is that when he gets to the city, that people are going to see his face and they're going to recognize him. Or at least that's the vibe you're getting from the reading here is that, well, he's got to cover himself up. Like one part here, the new guardian, it says. Yep, he's a guardian. And his ghosts watch the sun over the rugged tree line of the EDZ. In the pine-scented stillness, Crow, he's suddenly anxious. He imagined the great throes of people in the city. Hundreds of thousands of people, so many all armed with the secret of his forgotten past. If they learn what Crow himself didn't even know, would they? And they kind of leave it at that. And the Glint's like, well, what else do you want to try? And he says, well, the Glint says, you could do anything you want as long as... And he goes, I know, Glint, I know, as long as no one sees my face. So they start looking for a place to go to have some food and have some more drinks. And then all of a sudden, Osiris steps out of nowhere and says, I know just a place and it's called the Drunken Noodle. And he says, order the long boy special. It's delicious. Osiris then says, we need to talk about how you're going to get into the city. And our first priority is, well, to get you some new clothes. And I think that's why we see his new outfit there on the left-hand side of the screen. And Crow looks down at the sigil of the spider on his chest and says, uh, probably a good idea. And then uh, Osiris says, well, I have new gear for you aboard my ship. You can change while we wait for nightfall. So let me read this verbatim because this is interesting here. So as Crow followed in the warlock's footsteps, he once again imagined the crush of the last city. He could feel the weight of humanity pressing in around him, the mass of flesh and accusing eyes, the looming walls closing in around him. Crow's rumination was broken as they stepped from the trees into a clearing with the beat up jump ship parked in the center. Osiris paused at the foot of the loading ramp and turned to the face of the crow. And he says, there will come a time when your identity, your past, can no longer stay hidden. Crow felt a tightness in his chest as he imagined the whole city, all of humanity, all staring at him. And then that time comes, the warlock continued, remember this moment, one exile to another, you can trust me. They shook hands, and for a fleeting moment, Crow wondered if he might find acceptance after all. Okay, let's put our tinfoil hats on, and please comment in the comment section with your theories here. So, I am thinking he's going to be either, well, there's two things that he could be. He could be a new Vanguard, right? Because we don't have a Hunter Vanguard. We've got Ikora, we've got Zavala, and then it could be the Crow replacing Kate. And, uh, well, that would tick off a lot of people. Or, he could just be the new vendor over at the helm at the war table he, he could be the vendor for the next season what do you guys think in the comments section but either way he's coming back to the city but he's going to be cloaked and disguised and people are not going to know it's aldrin they're going to think it's the crow which he technically is because he doesn't even remember what he did and also going back to the end of the trailer for season of the chosen that clip of uh, the big cabal ship and you hear uh, Osiris say there is no light here. That's got to be a teaser for the following season, okay? 
because they did the same thing with the last well season trailer uh, for last season where we got to see Zavala standing with a bunch of Cabal talking with them and Osiris and it didn't turn out to be something in the last season it was in this season so more than likely that ending is going to be a teaser for next season all right I've got my tinfoil hat off and it's time to end the video leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end and do me a favor drop a like on this video only if you see fit follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean check out my stream you usually know it's on YouTube and that's it I am out of here like Vladimir